Hello dear students, welcome in your English class. Today's date is 10th and today we are going to do uh, Open Skies book. We are going to read the chapter 12 that is Keep Away from Germs. Okay, this is our chapter. Open your book everyone, page number 88 and we will read the chapter. You all know about germs. What are germs? Germs are a tiny microorganism which causes infections. There are some germs which causes infections and but some are harmless also. So we will read the story like why hygiene is important, why we have to have a healthy lifestyle like uh, why we have to cover our food, why we have to means avoid street foods. All these things we are going to read. In order to maintain our health, why all these things are important? These all things we will come to know with the story of a boy called Montu. Okay, so one by one I will read the paragraph and then I will explain you regarding this person Montu and what is the story all about. Okay, let's start. Germs are tiny microorganisms that exist all around us and are invisible to the human eye. This thing, we all know that uh, germs are tiny microorganisms. That means they are very, very small, which cannot be seen by the naked eyes. Okay. There are many different types of germs. Most are not harmful, but some causes infectious diseases. I have already said some are harmless. They, uh, they hardly means do anything to us. But some are very, very harmful. They cause very various diseases. It is important to know about germs and infectious diseases and simple ways to avoid getting and spreading them. We should be aware like from which things we can get infected and how we have to keep away from germs. Okay, these all things we are going to read through this chapter. So, this is the story of a boy called Montu and how Montu got cured from the disease. This thing we will read. So, <clears throat> I am a disease causing germ. I am quite famous for causing typhoid fever. Every one of you have heard about the typhoid fever and this boy Montu also had a disease which is what? Which is a fever that is typhoid. Okay. Unlike other germs which are round or spiral shaped, I am rod shaped. I have a long flagella which helps us to move on to or to swim. My friends and I all look exactly the same. So you can look at the picture. See, this is the diagram of the germs which causes typhoid. Okay, you can see that this germ causes typhoid. Now, the germ is telling all these things that the germ as well as all his friends are likewise and they causes this fever. We consider ourselves harmless bacteria. Man has often called us by unpleasant names. He brands us as harmful microbes and call us typhoid bacilli. He also tries to destroy us but he finds it difficult to do so. That means according to the germs they are harmless and they just live on our body and they just feed. Okay but we consider them harmful and we try various ways how we can means avoid getting it or if we have already got this disease how we can remove it. Why uh, and how we can remove it? We remove it by taking various antibiotics medicines which the doctors prescribed us. So we consider ourselves harmless and with unpleasant names. Now that is why we multiply much faster than he kill us. That means if uh, a germ is there in our body it multiply very fast so that we Human beings can't kill them. That's why they multiply faster. Each of us splits into two very rapidly and then we increase in number. That means one germ is there. 
it splits into two again it splits into two and it splits like this so the various number increases very very soon see this way the germs multiply okay so in this way the germs increases very frequently flies carry us along with them and we settle on sewage rubbish heaps and man's food you know where these germs are found these germs are found on the dirty area the dirty garbage which is found on the roadside that's why it is said to avoid street foods why because on the streets dirt is there germs are there and the flies house flies you know it sits on that germs uh, it sit uh, it sits on that uh, dirty food carry the germs from there and then it goes to the nearby uh, means food vendor and it sits on that food so in this way it causes what it causes that germ on the food item that we are eating and in this way that when we eat that food it gets inside our body in this way we get infectious so <clears throat> but mostly my friends and i lurk in dirty water drinks milks and ice these all things dirty water is on the road drinks that is the cold drinks or the drinks which are open in nature you have seen many juice corners or you have seen various uh, means edible food items which is having water in it from those that germs get uh, in our body from all these places we find our way to human intestine often man himself help us when he is a disease carrier suppose i am a person who is having fever or i am having a person which is having such disease okay i am sneezing coughing in a public place and i am not covering my mouth i am just like this only so whichever person will come in contact with me will get infection and in similar way my germs will be carried to that person okay and then that person will carry it when he will eat something when he will means touch his face or when he will do anything eating something or when he will do anything like rubbing the face or anything that germs from his hand will get inside his mouth and then inside his body or intestine similarly the germs goes from one person to another in this way also and through the food items also okay so we should be aware of many things we should keep in mind like we should not eat first of all we should not eat open foods or uncovered foods we should uh, means if we are already ill we should avoid going out and if we are out we should just cover our face or we should carry a hanky so that if we sneeze or if we cough we uh, means avoid it spreading the germs okay so this is the way how the germs get inside our intestine we had a marvelous time in montu's intestine before we entered his blood stream that means today if i eat a fast food that doesn't mean that today only i will get ill no suppose today i have eaten something from the road vendor and then slowly that food is in my stomach or intestine slowly slowly it will divide or it will multiply into it will split into many uh, means germs and then what will happen slowly it will enter my blood stream if it will enter my blood stream then through the blood it will go all over my body and in this way i will get the fever okay now the germ is all over my body is it clear so this boy montu today he has not eaten anything but he has eaten few days before and from there the germs of the typhoid fever was in his intestine and slowly it has started going in his blood stream okay then montu began to feel tired because of our presence now till yet montu was all okay but as soon as the germ get inside the blood stream 
now montu is feeling very tired very means uh, means uneasy now montu has started feeling uneasy why because of the presence of the germs in his body his body ached constantly ached means started paining now he is having body pain after a few days he started to have a high fever and severe diarrhea now also he is not having fever few days before he has eaten anything now he that has gone inside the blood stream now his body is means he is having body ache and now he will start having fever and after that he will start having diarrhea you know diarrhea is also a kind of uh, means uh, it is also a kind of means illness that is loose motion okay when you have the frequent desire to going to the washroom now this is the time when montu fall sick during this period my friends and i were enjoying ourselves unaware of any danger till now till montu was ill till now the germs and his friends were enjoying they were having very gala time in his body because till now no one know outside that montu is ill so they have not given him any medicine and now till now the germs were enjoying inside but in the body boy's body there was a white blood cells wbc you all have heard that in our body we have rbc and wbc rbc are the red blood cells and uh, wbc are the white blood cells these white blood cells are what they act as the barrier which protect our body or which fight the germs okay so white blood cells are there whose task was to get rid of any harmful microbes entering the body they were on the task now that germs has are having the fight with the microorganisms that germs are having the fight with the white blood cells okay before we knew what was happening an army of white blood cells attacked us now when montu's body is ill montu's brain has given a signal that something is wrong inside the body go and search what is wrong and now white blood cells are in fighting mode and they are doing what they are taking action against it okay they are taking action and they are uh, going to fight the germs of the typhoid fever a large number of us were engulfed but a few of us managed to escape due to white blood cells in our body most of the diseases can be cured because we have the strong immunity that shows the immunity okay so they most of that germs died but still some were left on reaching safety we started to multiply at once now those who were left they thought now it's the time of danger so we should multiply faster okay now they started multiplying and then we planned a counter attack unfortunately we were again in the same situation as montu fall ill his parents took him to the hospital now montu was ill and he was having fever so now his parents took him to the doctor or the hospital there the doctor has given him some antibiotics and after eating those antibiotics our that medicine has started doing work and now again the fight was going on with uh, with the medicines and the germs inside the montu's body okay montu's illness was correctly diagnosed by the doctor as typhoid fever the doctor injected an antibiotic injection in montu's body <coughs> a fierce battle started with the white blood cells many of my friends were killed i lost my brothers and sisters too we could not multiply fast enough because the reinforcement of antibiotics now most of the germs got killed because of the antibiotics and they were now uh, they were attacked so they were not in a condition to multiply fast okay so they although try to escape 
yet we could not succeed and we all were killed soon so that's why it is said when the doctors advise us certain medicines when the doctor prescribe us certain medicine we should do the complete dose suppose the doctor has said to eat some certain medicine for 5 days so we should not avoid avoid it we should eat all the uh, all those 5 days suppose after eating 2 3 days the medicine your body is fit and you are thinking now i am okay i am not having any fever so why to eat the th remaining 3 days let's leave it but no then the dose is incomplete and we should complete the dose by taking all the course which the doctor has said okay Montu became healthy by his timely visit to the doctor that's why when doctor says na come and meet me after one week we should go and we should do the procedure properly so that each and every germ which got inside our body got, uh, should be killed okay the boy now knows that prevention is better than cure even montu's neighbors and friends have learned from his nasty experience by having clean toilet habits and avoiding dirty food stalls they will not catch typhoid fever they always drink boiled water as heat kills typhoid bacilli they have also received vaccination which protects them against any germs like me though it is not in my favor to say yet prevention is definitely better than cure so the germ itself is giving us the advice that we should always do preventive measures that means we should avoid dirty toilets we should avoid means dirty food dirty roads we should avoid all these things and we should have a clean and healthy habit that's all i have read all the whole chapter i have read now you will read this chapter two times so that you will read the chapter two times so that you will not have any problem and you will mark the difficult words okay that's it thank you